Hi, this is Mel Allen, editor of Yankee Magazine. Black flies, we call them no see them, so you can't miss them. They fall into a bear den in the back. Hi, I'm Mel Allen, Yankee Magazine's editor. I want to tell you about one of my favorite ways to spend a summer day. If you're anywhere near Boston, between Wednesday, July 15th and Sunday, July 19th, head four miles north to Revere Beach. Revere Beach is famous for its honky-tonk character, a place where all people just go be strolling around all ages. But on these days, it becomes the center of the sandcastle universe. Now, most of us remember as kids building sandcastles. We had these little plastic buckets, and we toddled down to the surf's edge, and we filled it with sand, and we toddled back a few feet, and our parents gathered around and said, oh, it's so beautiful. Or maybe we did the same thing with our kids. But these sand sculptures that you're going to see at Revere Beach are being made by the, some of the best sand artists in the country. These creations, which take several days to build and use over 10 tons of sand, are to our sand castles as like a little backyard ball field is to Fenway Park. You go to Revere Beach and prepare to have your mouth drop open in amazement. If you missed the great sandcastle competition that was in Hampton Beach in June, or this one in Revere Beach, all hope is not lost for this summer. There's great sandcastle sculptures who are going to converge on Old Orchard Beach in Maine, Crane Beach in Ipswich, Jetty's Beach in Nantucket, and Walnut Beach in Milford, Connecticut. For dates for the sandcastle competitions this summer, and a whole lot more, go to yankeemagazine.com. Hope to see you at the beach. This is Mel Allen, Yankee Magazine.